What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Camaro, and today I'm gonna to talk about spacers. Now, most of you guys know what spacers are. Spacers you can put on your hubs of your vehicle to push your wheels out. Now, some people may shave their rims to get them to offset, to set in a little bit uh, more, or you bump them out. Now, in this case, the 2016-2017 Camaro, not the 1LE or the ZL1, the rims actually sit tucked in in the rear just a little bit. I have the MRR wheels, now, in my instance, there is a slight gap in between the fender and where the wheel well lines up. And it's also because of the tires that I have, they're a little bit stretched. So in this instance, I want my tires to come out a little bit. So what I have here is a five millimeter space, actually, I think it's a three millimeter, now that I think about it, sorry. I should measure it, but I have a spacer here that I'm gonna put on here to bump out my wheels. Now this spacer is being made by ZL1 add-ons. They did provide this set for me. Uh, I actually talked John into making them uh, and he will be offering these on his site. Now he's keeping them um, five, three, and two millimeters. Actually, I think this one is five millimeters. Um, five, three, and two millimeters. So that way you have a spacer that is still on the hub. Uh, if you go with a spacer that sits off the hub, that's bad. You don't want to do that. Um, but this one will still stay on the hub, so I'm in good, good, um, in a good place with that. And then also, these are aluminum, so they're super light, but they're super strong. So we're going to go ahead and put these on the car and uh, see how they look. So I'm putting this spacer on, it lines up with my bolts, but it definitely tells me my bolts are kind of dented in a little bit because it didn't just slip on. I had to tap it in a little bit with the hammer. I didn't mess up the threads at all, um, but it slid right on, sitting nice and flush against the wheel hub. And as you can see, there's more than enough hub here for the rim to also still sit on that. So on the back side of my wheels, you'll see right here should still sit on this hub just a little bit. So having your full rim off the hub is never a good thing. Um, that's when you start getting into spacers that do whole new bolts uh, and bump it out quite a bit. But let's put the tire on and see how it looks. The wheels back on. You can barely see the spacer on there. Now let's go do the other side and we'll do that in a jiffy after this snap. There you have it, spacers are on both sides of the car and she's dropped now to the ground. As you can see on this side, spacer is on. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but you can kind of see it there in between the, the hub and the, the wheel. And uh, I think it pushed out those wheels exactly how I wanted them to. So now if you look down the side, the wheel is right level with the body. Now if you look down, there's just a little bit of wheel. It's hard to see, but... Probably could have went with a four mil instead of a five mil, and it would have been perfect, but I think it looks good. Now the wheels stick out just a little bit on the back which is what I was looking for. Looks good to me. So you guys have it. That is the spacer install from ZL1 add-ons. Again, um, the one on the far side hub actually slid right on versus that side. I think I have some bent bolts from factory. I'm gonna have to check that out. Maybe even go talk to MRR and see if there may be something awkward about the rim. Um, but outside of that, the look and um, style that it adds to the car is exactly what I wanted. Now keep in mind, when you do put spacers on a car, you never wanna go off the hub. You do not want the rim sitting to where it's still not on the hub. 
Now in this instance, I went five millimeter. It was just enough to allow enough hub so the wheel was still on there. Keep that in mind. Do not have your wheel off the hub. So depending on your build and the style and the way that you want your car to look, you can move it out two millimeters, three, five. I think you could probably get away with six, but anything further than that, you're gonna be off the hub and you're gonna ask for trouble down the road. So either or, that's my install guide here of the Z01 add-ons, spacers. Uh, these, wheel, these, blah, blah, these will work for the fronts and backs. Keep in mind, I am running 285s up front, 305s in the rear. I am looking forward to putting some 315s on these uh, wheels here pretty soon. But outside of that, that pushes that out even further so I don't have to worry about rubbing on the inside. So again, it all depends on the offset on your rims. Take an eye. You can clearly see with your eye if your rim is sticking, if it's offset inside the wheel well or outside. Now, it also depends on your tires. Now, my tires are kind of stretched and they're the Pirellis currently. I may have to rethink or look at the spacer if I go with a different tire because I do not want my wheels hitting the fender. Now, because mine are kind of stretched right now because I have a 305 on an 11 inch rim, um, they curve enough to where those impacts are not gonna hit the, rim, or the, the wheel well. So keep that in mind. And one last thing, because I forgot to do it while I was down in the garage, or at least I forgot to tell you, but always make sure to torque your bolts on your wheels to the manufacturer's specs. You don't want those rolling off or falling off or whatever. So make sure you tighten those bolts properly. But as always guys, if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. If not, likes, comments, shares are always appreciated. Also check out the Lethal Camaro merchandise down below at the link. And as always, I'll see you on the road.